we are taking a look at one zone IA storage class, which is designed for the data that is less frequently accessed and has additional savings that reduce availability. Notice the name, it says one zone in IA. There's two other storage classes that one has one zone in the name and one has I in the name. If you understand those two components, you know exactly what this class is going to do. It has a high durability of 11 nines, as all storage classes have it for whatever reason. Uh, it has a lower availability than standard and standard IA. So standard IA has um, three nines because it's infrequently accessed. So of course it's gonna have a lower availability. This one's even lower because it only runs in a single zone. Fewer zones, fewer availability. That's why they call it availability zones. The storage effective, uh, or the cost effective storage here is 20% less than standard IA. I don't think I made a good enough emphasis on it in the last in the last one we talked about standard IA. Standard IA is 50% less than standard, and then this one is 20% less than standard IA, so even even more cost effective. Uh, for re uh, data redundancy, data stored in one availability zone. So if there was a disaster in that AZ, you'd lose all your data. So you might want to do cross uh, region replication if the data is super important to you. Um, but then again, you're kind of getting the territory of having standard IA where it's going to be in multiple AZs. Um, but uh, in another region, of course, that'd be a bit different, I think. So retrieval time is within milliseconds. Even though it says one zone in the name, this is not express. So it's not going to be single digit milliseconds. It's just as fast as standard and standard IA. The use cases here is ideal for secondary backup copies of on-premise data for storing data that can be recreated in the event of an AZ failure it is also suitable for storing infrequently accessed data that is non-mission critical. For pricing, we have storage per gigabyte per request. There is a retrieval fee and it has a minimum day charge of 30 days. Um, I do, yeah, that's about it. So there we go.